Okay, I decided to make this video because there was only one other video that helped me out there. So uh, maybe this will help you. This gearbox happened to be a Warner um, out of Indianapolis. It is, that company went out of business about 20 years ago, I think. Anyway, pretty much all your five foot, four foot, six foot uh, slashers, rotary cutters, brush hogs, whatever you call them, have some type a, of gearbox like this that I pretty much use almost all the internals are the rebuildable parts. Let's start with the easy part, the top. On bolt, it almost just wiggles out. You might have to tap on it, pull it out. All it is is stuck in that bearing. Yep, that's a new one. I'll tell you how to get that one out. And then you got this assembly. There's a bearing in there, which is one of three that are the same, and a bunch of C-clips. Take this C-clip out. It's gonna be able to move this forward. See that clip there with two tongs? I'm gonna squeeze those together with a needle nose, poke that up a little bit, tap this out. You're gonna have a bearing. It's gonna have a C-clip as well. Puck that bearing out. I'll give you the part numbers at the end. That guy, how do you drive that guy out? Okay, so this is the end of this, sh this shaft. It fits in there. It's a greasy old sock or rag. Uh, YouTube it, you know, um, Abe does it. Cut up into little pieces, add grease to it. You stuff it in the center. You hit it down with this or something similar in size to where it's gonna force it, it into this cavity. You're just gonna keep doing that. Chunks of rag and grease, chunks of rag and grease. Pop, that's gonna pop right out. No tools necessary. And it won't damage this, so if this is a good bearing or something that you needed to save, there you go. That's the one oddball bearing. That's the 6207. 6207, I happen to use a sealed bearing. I removed the seals. Guess what, the sealed bearings are cheaper, more common. Okay, so you're gonna be stuck and left over with this guy. What's in here? Well, it's this whole assembly. All this is is a sleeve. It's just a simple shaft. There are two clips in here, but that's... The hard part is, how do I get this shaft out of here? Because you need a pull on it. Uh, sliding hammer, sure, but let's go with uh, no tools necessary. Get our blocks of wood on either side. Pull this shaft out. What I did was use two by fours on either side. I used the nut and some washers. You can either use a two by four, in this, my case I used a brake rotor that fit, but you just need a plate, two by four, and another two by four on either side. You tighten this down, and guess what? It's gonna pull this right out. Uh, there's a guy that does a better video on this. Uh, maybe I'll do a link below. Two of the same bearings here. One bearing here. That's three of the 6208. 6208. Again, I use sealed bearings. They were cheaper. Remove the seals. I can lucky enough read this seal, part number at the top, and it's available. The bottom seal, I came up with a number and I found one blog about this seal number saying it's impossible to find. I am a parts guy. I looked up my national seal catalog. Can't get it. And everybody copies after each other. All these gearboxes are the same. Just eBay or Amazon search rotary cutter seals. It's a two pack of these rubber seals. They fit. I measured already because I was so scared I was going to lose out on the whole 14 bucks. <laughs> it fits just fine. I like to use grease to assemble mine for that double lip purposes. Anyway, those pressed in there like magic. Repeat, you have one 6207 bearing, three 6208 bearings, and one seal kit. Well, what about gaskets? Uh, you're on your own. I did not find a good gasket, so I am just going to use a flange sealer, not RTV. This is a little different. This is more specific to very fine clearances and tol or tolerances.